All right, now you have commitment. Things are getting serious. So it looks like there's a relationship that's going to go to the next level, leaving a, a couple of little rings there, maybe Valentine's Day. All right, let's get into this and see. Things are getting serious. Commitment is going to happen in January. Okay, somebody's got big plans and ideas. They're looking at, they're looking either at rings or some type of tangible item that is going to kind of confirm a committed relationship I feel it doesn't have to be a ring it could be like a you know, like a promise ring or something but all right so you have Aquarius energy Scorpio energy you have Pisces um, Cancer and Scorpio um, court card sorry I don't know what's going on with me I can't think straight um so this is gonna be shocking for you yeah 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 look at this oh, I've never seen this before you guys when I do my readings I've been doing them for how long I always see something different always 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 I'm seeing fireworks here I'm seeing fireworks now I'm looking at this and I see like this feels like a ring on a finger or somebody that like how can I say it I want to show you I have to show you I, I don't know I don't know why I have to show you I just feel like it's kind of like somebody's like you know it takes a ring and it's like here you know I kind of like here it's for you here with that card when I look at that I've never seen that before but that that's the energy that I'm getting here okay so And for those of you where, you know, like it's not a ring. Well, it's not that it's not a ring, but <clears throat> it's going to either be communication about it. They want to talk to you about like, like, what are you, what do you think if I put a ring on your finger or, or uh, you know, how about if we, you know, do that? Like, I want a ring on my finger. What are your thoughts about that? You know, like something's getting serious here. I see, I see fireworks. I see you being like kapow, blown off your chair <laughs> with this energy happening. There's like, this person is so hopeful for that you'll say yes. I mean, this, I just feel like they've been thinking about this, this queen of cups, masculine or feminine energy, like we're really checking their feelings. And I feel like it will come as a surprise to you because this person keeps a lid on their emotions. They don't share how they feel. So it's going to be like, what? Right? Look, it's going to be like, they keep a lid on it. And they don't say anything. And then like the lid is like totally blown off. The lid, the lid, the lid. I keep thinking of SpongeBob, the lid. So yeah, it's going to be such a shock. So this person's going to initiate communication with you in... Um, January about getting into some kind of a committed relationship or if you want to get serious right so I feel like um, now listen make sense will you I know there's some of you that are like who could this be I don't have anyone in my life at all all right like if you are the Virgo that's listening that you've been locked away in your room for five years and you have had absolutely no human interaction i mean this this likely isn't going to be your reading this could be coming from a friend but if you've had interaction to whatever degree this could be coming from a friend this could be coming from a lover someone you're dating casual kind of thing um getting more serious you know what i mean um, some of you, I'm hearing between January 16th and the 17th, there's some type of communication coming forward from this person. Look, again, four of wands, okay? So there's definitely a long-term committed thing. We've got Pisces here, okay? Um, <clears throat> They're showing me a celebration at night, an engagement, 
party, celebration, a birthday party, something at night where this might happen as well. Okay, so somebody's party. I know it's not your birthday party unless you're not a Virgo son, but it, it, it may come out like at, at some kind of event or a reception or a party. Okay, somebody like it's not necessarily getting down on the knee. Really, it's just kind of like bringing it out of their pocket and either proposing or talking about it. It's not tremendous. Look, <laughs> it's not romantic. I'm not seeing anything. Listen, the only like the only cup card here is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups has a lid on their emotions on that chalice. And the moon can represent deep emotions, but they're hidden. So this is not a very romantic gesture. This is more of like a logical conversation, maybe that some somebody is having. Okay. <laughs> and I know there's some of you. Listen, I'm I'm uh, I'm Capricorn Moon. I'm perfectly fine with having a conversation. Um, I, I don't want to have this conversation over candlelit dinner. Like turn a light on. I need to see my food. <laughs> that's just me so i feel like this person has been kind of like stuck on you about this um a little bit insecure here with the eight of swords um kind of a little bit <sighs> maybe that's why i haven't said anything to you um that kind of wrapped up in their head with negative thoughts that kind of thing um and then at the same time, they have like these whimsical ideas, uh, definitely holding you on like some kind of a pedestal. Let's see. What else, Virgo? Virgo's going to be like, what the hell is that going on in 2024? 2024 is your year, Virgo. I've been telling you. I feel it in my bones. Okay. Definitely going to be some communication flirty a little so there's your cup right so it's minimal it's minimal as far as the way this person shares their emotions um it's almost maybe childlike in some ways but it's it's kind of minimal it's you know sweet text messages it's not a deep pour your kind of love out you know what i mean i don't really feel like that person this person wears their heart on their sleeve so yeah, Virgo, I mean, what do you want me to tell you? Uh, <laughs> all right, there's your love. Right there's your love. Come and get your own love. Do, 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 do. All right, Gemini, perhaps? It's an energy. So um, yeah, I mean, Virgo, this, this is like love and commitment, long term. You know, two people who are better together than alone. This is, this is like this beautiful this is a decision both of you making this decision you're gonna say yes to this person virgo you're gonna agree you're gonna say yes to this person you're both like wanting the same things this person just looks at you like you are just they're in awe of you and meanwhile you're looking up at spirit you're very focused on the spiritual realm of things and this person's very focused on your physical beauty or <coughs> good looks Okay, there you go. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. <coughs> this is the love and the decision to get married, to be in this long-term committed thing. Yes, in January. Say yes to the dress, Virgo. <laughs> or the tux, Virgo. You know, however you do it. Like, I know, some of you are just very formal. Some of you are just going to go to Vegas. Some of you are just going to hit the beach, grab a pastor, hit the beach, whatever. However you do it. You're going to say yes to this commitment. Let me see you. I'm going to just take a quick look at you. Okay. Look at you. You've got strength. You, you like Virgo. Um, this person's like a beast. That's what I'm just hearing. They're like a beast. And, and you just have this way of calming them, soothing them. Um, I just heard... Um, Okay, they just told me somebody's a dentist or some type of physician or someone that does something with the mouth. It could deal with the teeth or the throat or the um, a tongue. I don't know what you do. Maybe tongue piercing? I don't know. 
uh, whoever does that kind of stuff. There's something with the throat, the down the esophagus. <laughs> Don't even. You're so dirty, Virgo. You are so dirty. Um, <laughs> anyway, some of you are a throat goat. I don't know. What to say. I just have to stop. I'm gonna get banned. Okay. So yeah, it could be like medicine of some sort, or physician, or dentist, or dentist's a stencil assistant, or something. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just hearing that. Okay, let me move on. So you're a strong person, Virgo. You're very strong. Some of you do some type of work where you're balancing money, accounts. Okay, let me see what else. Oh, some of you got them thigh high boots on and you're just shaking your ass as you walk out the door. You're like, you like what you see? You like, you like? <laughs> um, dentist by day, stripper by night. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. You live your life however you got to live your life. You do what you need to do. But um, you like to travel, Virgo? Um, do you compete? Somebody, you might compete in something where you win or some attachment. Or somebody has an attachment to the Olympics. Some type of um, sport. Maybe you're an athlete. Someone's a drummer. Uh, a baton twirler. <laughs> or maybe you were years ago yeah I, I really i'm picking up like a lot of balance here so i don't know virgo you what's virgo gonna do because i feel like you're gonna say yes to this uh, this love thing that comes in this commitment show virgo what their advice is okay you have the emperor oh oh okay I just heard now I don't know this might apply to someone who's if you're if your father's still alive you need to talk to your to your dad if your dad's well maybe you could pray to him if your father's not here um, if your father was an Aries he's watching out for you if he's not here okay um, that was just a specific message um, I don't know. I, they're just saying th if your father raised you to be someone that's respectable, has self-respect, integrity, dignity, achievement, um, a real catch, um, they're saying to keep doing, keep being that way, which I don't feel like I need to tell you that, but keep being that way. And also um, to view yourself as single until you're not, until it's official. That, that's really just the advice I'm getting. And I feel like I said that in one of my recent, maybe it was just the first reading or one of my recent readings. Okay, let me see. And also, um, put some money away. They're <laughs> just saying, put some money away. Take some money out of the honey pot and store it away, stash it away somewhere. I don't know why you need to do that. I'm just hearing that. In, is it in relation to this commitment or this relationship yes um keep that for yourself and if that's coming from like a father figure someone who's watching over you or watching out for you might tell you that they're saying okay if this is what you're gonna do make sure that you don't let anyone have access to your full finances <laughs> you need to have a little nest egg for yourself i don't know why does that mean they're gonna steal it not necessarily prenup that's what they're saying prenup you might ask for or demand a prenup if you get involved and is that your advice it looks like it like what's yours is yours and what's theirs is theirs that's what i'm hearing okay okay i don't know do you have a lot of money prenup okay that's that was the message sorry i kind of like led this long dialogue up to that um, yeah, so, I mean, hey, congratulations. It looks like you're going to be tying the knot in January. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, 
Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. <laughs>